more than two and a half million cars in India are equipped with Digital Radio Mondial receivers, and India's national broadcaster is expanding digital transmissions on medium wave and on shortwave bands that reach across the globe. This broadcast from India was heard in Brazil. DRM can also be sent on long wave or the higher VHF frequencies used by FM broadcasters. Transmitting high quality audio and multiple programs simultaneously. You have at least three channels instead of one or three programs instead of one, three stations. Britain's BBC, the U.S. Agency for Global Media, and other broadcast services are testing or using the format, including China, now the world's largest DRM shortwave broadcaster. The United States has done tests through Radio Marti broadcasts to Cuba. This 2009 test from Voice of America was heard in Austria. You'll join me for the next edition of the program. It was broadcast on shortwave, with less of the fading that usually plagues shortwave reception. A retired VOA official says DRM is radio and more. Because it's digital data, whether that data is audio, files, images. The religious broadcaster Transworld Radio sends Bible lessons through DRM to India, China, and Japan. And so when it comes to communication, uh, especially getting into areas where we don't have the uh, internet connections, this is the way to go. DRM's wide coverage with low power, long reach via shortwave, and data capabilities have big advantages over other digital standards. There are challenges, however. Transmitter upgrades are expensive, and there's not yet a large market for DRM receivers, which cost more than their analog counterparts. But prices are coming down, and transmitters use less power while having greater reach than analog transmitters. Reaching areas with no broadband connections, Brazil's national broadcaster is testing DRM for isolated Amazon communities while a private charity is testing a simpler data system that links mobile phones through shortwave transceivers using digital encoding, not DRM, but similar modern use of old technology. People say, oh, radio is yesterday's platform. We are looking to the future. Well, the future is, as usual, very complicated, and it is a mixture of uh, platforms. I don't think television killed the radio. Um, I don't think that the internet killed television. DRM, she adds, is part of that future. Mike O'Sullivan, VOA News.